Hello, I am Marie Girolamo with Michelle Hull, and today we will be exploring how to create choice board lessons using hyperlinked Google Slides. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell to enable notifications for our channel by clicking our logo during the video. Also, leave us a comment or check out our related videos by clicking the pop-up cards in the upper right corner. Here's how to get started with your choice board lesson using hyperlinked Google Slides. A choice board lesson is a lesson where the student chooses the way they are learning about a particular topic. Choice boards are typically set up as a grid containing at least four options or choices. The average choice board contains nine options and is set up as a three by three table like the one pictured here. Today's tutorial will walk you through creating a choice board in Google Slides. We will make them interactive in that the viewer will be able to select links on the slide to use a variety of applications like YouTube. These hyperslides are the basis for the choice board. We will assume a few things. First, that you are familiar with Google Suites for Education. If you'd like a refresher on some of the basics, take a look at some of the videos posted on the DIS channel. Second, in order for the students to be able to complete any of the assignments in e-learning, they must have a computer with access to the internet. If this lesson were set up as a traditional paper lesson, all of the hyper slides would need to be printed. Lastly, students must be familiar with Google Classroom and have the knowledge to upload their work. If you are unsure of this or just want to give them the resources, just in case, you can share these videos with them on one of your slides or as an addition to your Google Classroom resources. Before we dive into the tutorial, a little bit about us. My name is Marie Girolamo and I'm a Library Media Specialist here in Horry County. I will be your narrator for this tutorial. Michelle Hull is an art teacher here in Ori, and she developed the samples in this tutorial based on a series of lessons she used during the COVID crisis. If you have any questions at all, feel free to contact us. For the purposes of this tutorial, we will walk you through the creation of a four choice choice board. Once you know the basics of creating a choice, which we will show you, you can easily expand the number of choices. First step, open Google Slides. Unless you like a plain white background, change the theme or color of your slides. You can do either of these options from the menu above the basic blank slide, or as you can see, there are theme options along the side. I will choose to set my background a solid color. The choice boxes are added to the slide using the text box feature. Before we add our text boxes, I do two things. The first is I eliminate the text boxes that are there by default. To eliminate them or delete them, you simply click on one of the lines of the text boxes and hit the delete button on your keyboard. The second thing I do, which I think will come in handy, is I add a grid on my slide so that the slide is separated into four equal quadrants. To do this, select View, Guides, and Show Guides. Once you are done with your um, creating your slide deck, you can remove these grid lines by simply going up to view again, selecting guides, and clicking on show guides. This will toggle it off. The next step is to create our boxes. The choice boxes are added to the slides using the text box feature. In our example, we will be using five text boxes for each of the four, four choice boxes and one for the instruction bar. And within each of these text boxes or choice boxes, we're going to put titles in them, again using text boxes that will be hyperlinked. To insert text boxes, you can either select the shortcut, the box with a T in it, 
or you can select insert from the menu bar and from the drop down box click on text box. As the cursor turns into a cross, click on the background for the corner of the box and drag it diagonally to where you want to place the other corner of the box and release the mouse. This is the box we'll be using for our instruction box. We'll change the color of this box using our fill tool and then to type in the box, click in it and start typing. Then format the text as you see fit. The four choice boxes we'll be creating using the same method. Insert your text box, modify the format, color, etc., and then type your text. An easy way and a quicker way to create all of the text boxes is to create one and then copy and paste it into the slide. Then go into each box, change the format, uh, color, um, text, and text format as you see necessary. The next task would be to insert our title boxes, followed by the click here circles, and then add our images and videos. Once you are satisfied with the way the choice board looks, it's time to insert our hyperlinks. This is the fun part. In this first box, Michelle would like the students to click on these artists so that they can see the artist's work. So what we'll do is we'll select or highlight the words Bridget Beth Collins and we'll link it to a page that exhibits her artwork. So with that text highlighted, you go to insert in the menu bar, select link, paste the website you'd like the kids to get to, and click on apply. Okay, as you can see, Bridget Beth Collins, uh, the type has changed, the um, font color has changed, and it is now underlined, okay, which means it is a hyperlink. Now, you're not going to be able to see it um, unless you click in the words. You'll see exactly where it's going to, okay? The next one is done basically the same way. The Reiku link, you click on those words. You select Insert, Link, and paste the link that you want them to go to. Now I'm going to show you how to create a link in the slideshow. So these circles, these red circles here, Michelle wants the students to be able to click here and go to another page in the slideshow. In order to do that, it's very simple. It's basically the same way we did with text. You simply click on the circle itself. Make sure you're not clicking in the words. And then go to the insert menu again click on link and note where it says slides in this presentation um, click on that and below it would list each slide in the presentation she wants this circle to link to slide six so we'll select slide six and then click on apply and you can see the link will appear underneath the circle so when they click this circle they'll get to slide six now we'll do the same thing with the circle underneath it, this link to slide seven. The next thing I will show you is how to uh, create a link on images. I'm assuming that you know how to insert your images um, onto your slide. You can either copy and paste them from another application. You can do insert image, 
upload from computer, search the web, etc. Okay, so these are some of the images that I've put in here um, that actually Michelle put in here for you. And um, this one is linked to a Google Doc. Um, and to do that, it's basically the same way. You click on the image, you go to insert, link, and from here, just copy and paste um, the URL from your Google Doc. Make sure you your settings are okay and that anybody with a link can view this document. And then you click apply. And that's basically it. So when they click on the image, they can get to the document. You can have the image linked again to a video, um, to another slide in the slide deck, basically any place on the internet. Okay, um, the last thing I want to show you is how to insert a video. Okay, you can insert a video um, by inserting an image and then going to insert link and um, pasting the URL of the video. And when they click on that image, they can get to a video. I'm going to show you another way to do that, um, which I think it just looks better. What you do is you go to insert, click on the word video, and you'll see um, you can insert directly from YouTube the URL here. Um, or if it's located somewhere else by URL or if it's located on your Google Drive. I happen to see a video um, on nature art and YouTube that might be kind of cool for Michelle's lesson. So I went to YouTube and I copied the URL there and I just pasted it into the box. And you click on the little magnifying glass, the search bar, search box. Um, you will see that video appear underneath. You must click on that video to say that that's the one you want and then click on select and you'll see that the video or the picture that comes up is looks different than the other pictures on the slide. It has a big um, play arrow in the middle of it so you can see clearly that that is a link and that's a link to a video. Congratulations, you've created choice boards using hyperslides. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, or reply to one of our other videos or share the playlist below. Subscribe to our channel and enable notifications so that you don't miss out on the next episode. Don't forget to check out our other resources and see what else is going on in Horry County Schools. Be sure to follow at Dear D-I-S E-S on social media or contact us via email or our blog.